one that I've been wanting to share with you guys for some time now, but I'm just now getting around to doing it. And the video that I'm doing today is a review on ISO's Spectrum Pro Hair Straightener. I have been trying this baby out for a little bit, just trying to get to know it a little bit, just so I can kind of give you guys a really good in-depth review on it. So basically the little box I think is actually pretty cute and then it opens up and the straightener was in here in this like little velvet spot and I just thought that the packaging was actually really really high quality. I feel like packaging is really important when it comes to getting a product. You don't want to have like a really nice product in like a really crummy packaging. It just doesn't display itself very well. So I really like to box. Is that lame? Probably. So enough about the box. Let's talk about the straightener itself. This is what the straightener looks like. I got it in a pretty purple color. And I did a review on a straightener once before and it looked a lot like this one. I think this whole like pattern slash I don't know, what do you call it? Um, it's kind of got like a little checker look to it. I feel like this is kind of big right now. A lot of hair straighteners are rocking that look. So it has this texture, that's what I'm looking for. So moving on from that, we have the actual dial right here where you can make the setting from 170 degree Fahrenheit to 450. And then we have the on and off switch and then it also has the swivel cord, which a hair straightener must have a swivel cord, especially if you're going to be doing like curls with your straightener, a swivel cord is a must so always make sure that you look for that and another thing I like is that it has a little part where if you do like to hang it up like in your cabinet it has a little hook that you can hang it on which I love as well I should probably mention that I have straight to wavy hair and my hair pieces like each hair strand is very very thin but I have so much of it that it makes my hair still look full so before I go too in depth with the hair straightener I'm gonna show you guys a demo of me using it so let go this hair straightener I'm noticing that when I pass through the hair I have to go pretty slow I can't just do a quick slide through the hair I actually have to pass through it fairly slow for it to really give it a good straighten and I usually don't go too slow when I do my straightening so I notice I have to kind of keep going over the same area that brings it to be pretty straight I can definitely say that it is not snagging at my hair, which is my biggest pet peeve with hair straighteners. I cannot stand when it snags your hair and like pulls it and you hear your hair breaking during the process. shiny it made my hair look straight I got the desired look that I was going for there are a few things that I do want to mention about this straightener though so first I'll kind of go into like the technical things so it's 100% solid ceramic plates which I love that's my favorite thing about this hair straightener it's one and one fourth inch floating plates I feel like it'll just I don't know is that one and one fourth I don't know but um it is a floating plates which I've talked about before there are some straighteners where the plates are so wiggly and they 
float so much that your hair will get caught underneath it. Whereas these plates, my favorite part about it was the fact that my hair never one time got caught in it. Every time I use it, it's just so smooth, which is so important nowadays. Even with cheese straighteners, my hair gets caught every time. And as you straighten your hair, you just hear the whole time and like it breaks your hair it's just really bad for your hair so the way that these plates work is probably my favorite thing about it and then on the bottom there's an LED indicator that lets you know if the hair straightener is on or off that's really really important for when you are doing your hair you want to make sure you turn off your straightener every single time you do your hair never leave your hair straightener on you're damaging your hair straightener and you're taking the chance of burning your house down it has 110 to 240 volts 50 by 60 Hertz it has a PTC heater for safer operation. Yes, yes, yes. The way that this thing heats up is different than any other hair straightener I've ever used, but I will go into that in a minute. So that is pretty much all of the actual like technical notes that I have on this straightener, but moving forward from things that I have noticed from being a straightener user and just being your average straightener user. When it comes to this straightener, when I first turned it on, it had your usual like smell to it. It kind of has like a burning plastic smell, but I feel like most straighteners have always had that smell the first couple times I used it. So the first few times I used it, it definitely had that smell to it, but it wasn't like too strong or anything and it definitely didn't put it in my hair. Another thing I noticed about it was that it says that it heats up to 450 degrees Fahrenheit, but I didn't feel that it actually went that hot. Usually when I straighten my hair, I can feel the heat just kind of like go everywhere. I feel it like come onto my face. Like when you do it like right here, you'll feel heat like hit you in the face. And then you'll see kind of like a steam come off your hair. At least that's how my straighteners have always worked. With this one, it doesn't do that. And it makes me wonder if there's like a protectant to it. I'm not sure what it does, but it, I feel my hair being protected as I use it. I don't feel like I'm damaging my hair when I use this hair straightener, whereas most straighteners, I feel like I am just completely frying my hair. So I remember when I first started using this, I'm like, I don't know if it's actually gonna straighten my hair because I don't feel like enough heat is going on my hair to straighten it, but I've used it today. I've used it the past, I don't know, couple of weeks now, and it's always given me the look that I wanted. I always have really straight hair, and the number one thing that I've noticed about the hair straightener, and that's like my favorite thing about it, is the way my hair shines after using it is unbelievable. A few things that's like on the box about it as well is it has far infrared technology, 100% solid ceramic, 625% more negative ion, which I believe is what is making my hair so shiny, and then it says for silky shiny hair obviously. <laughs> and then it says advanced nanotechnology. I don't know what really that means. Um, another thing that the box says, it has frizz control, humidity safe, plates made from water sensor ceramic, generate 625 more negative ions, made especially to create different hairstyles and far infrared technology. So that's pretty much everything that the box and like my notes say about this straightener as far as like technical terms. So you can kind of see like everything that I noticed, it also claimed. And I didn't read the box or any of that stuff before using it. I just took my hair straightener out and started using it. I didn't read anything. My thoughts on it is exactly what the box says that it is promoting. When it comes to the feel of the hair straightener, I feel like it's really, really good quality. If I had to compare it to another straightener, I would have to compare it closely to probably Chi or Numi. Um, and I say that, and I know those are like very different, but I say that because they just have these rectangular plates. The other straightener that I own, its plates comes all the way to the edge of the actual straightener. So its plates are kind of like a cone shape. It's like a coffin shaped nail is what those plates are. And that's been something that I've gotten used to. Most straighteners do look like this. As far as curling your hair with this hair straightener, I've personally never done it. I have yet to actually have enough patience to curl my hair. I just, I don't know what it is. I do not have patience to curl my hair. So I haven't used it to curl my hair, but I will say that it has left my hair straight and shiny for a couple of days. I always have my hair up, so no matter what, I always get like a wave to my hair, but if I leave my hair down, it does stay straight for days. So one thing that I'm loving about this straightener and this company right now is they are actually offering a coupon code for you guys so that you can get this hair straightener for $29. So I'm actually going to put the code right here. I believe it's like ISO Pro Deal, and then I'm going to have it, of course, linked down below where you guys can get this hair straightener. They also have several other hair tools. I also have their three-in-one curling wand. It has like three different size barrels and you put it on like the little 
wand part and you can curl your hair. I have personally not used that one just yet just because I haven't gotten around to doing it. I don't always curl my hair like I said, so I just haven't gotten around to using it yet. But if you guys do become interested in a review on that, I would be more than happy to do that for you guys. But that's pretty much all I can say about this bad boy. I feel like you guys can get a good idea of how it works by watching my demo, so if you guys need to re-watch that, go ahead and re-watch it. If I had to rate this hair straightener, I would probably give it a... 3.9 out of 5. There are some cons that I have with it. Like I said, I worry because of the fact it doesn't heat up enough. I worry if my hair were to be curly that it wouldn't work on my hair. And I don't know. I, I, I don't know. It might work on curly hair. I haven't tried it. I have wavy hair. So I don't quite know how well it'll work on curly hair. I can't speak on behalf of that. I can only speak on behalf of like straight to like wavy hair. And it does work on that. But another thing to note as well is when I use it I really had to go over the same spot multiple times in order to get the perfect pin straight look but I feel like the way that this is made the point of it is to keep it kind of a voluminous look to your hair and to make it straight and to keep it tamed and not frizzy but at the same time I like it really pin straight and I don't know if this was necessarily designed for pin straight hair. It seems like it might be for people who want volume to their hair which is like most women <laughs> but uh, I feel like it's for those who don't mind a little bit of thickness to their hair still. So like I said I'd probably have to give it a 3.9 out of 5 and that's just because I'm nervous it won't always heat up enough and because I don't know if it'll work on curly hair. It says that it'll work on curly hair, so, you know, let me know if it does. If you guys end up purchasing it and you have curly hair, please let me know down below and let the other girls know down below whether it worked on your hair or not. So that is it for this video. Make sure that you guys check out their website and do your research and get to know the product. Check it out online, look at reviews online, see how this product will work personally for you. Everybody has different hair types, everybody has different hair, so it's going to work differently on everyone. So anyways, that is it for this video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you guys leave video requests down below. I'm starting to take requests for full time. I'm so excited. So make sure that you guys are leaving your requests down below. Make sure that you guys are following me on all of my social media websites. I have all of the links always in my videos down below, as well as some other goodies down below. So always make sure that you guys check that out. Please subscribe to this channel if you have not already, and I will see you guys in my next video. Take care, everyone.